Good morning, y'all. If you're visiting from Proverbs 31 Devotions, I am so excited that you're here. Um, if you didn't read the devotion that I wrote, go read it right now. It's at Proverbs31.org. Um, and the reason I want you to read it is because a lot of what I'm going to talk about in this video has to do with that devotion. And so in that devotion, I talk about how I violated the marriage trust in a huge way. Um, I did some things with my finances that I'm definitely not proud of. Um, hid some financial decisions for my husband and um, got myself in a lot, a big mess, like a lot of credit card debt. Um, looking back, horrible decision, but at the time, um, it seemed like the right thing to do. So I just wanted to let y'all know that there is a very real person behind the writer on that screen um, and just give you a little glimpse into my life. And here I am this morning. There's my stove and I'm cooking breakfast. And while I'm cooking breakfast, I just thought I would share a little bit with you. And the very first thing I want to share with you, in case maybe you're going through a period in your marriage like I went through, is um, Deuteronomy chapter 30, some scripture from there. And what it says, starting in verse 2, is that, Deuteronomy 32, is that, And when you and your children return to the Lord your God and obey Him with all your heart and with all your soul, according to everything I command you today, then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have compassion on you and gather you again from all the nations where He scattered you. Read that whole chapter if you have time, Deuteronomy 30, because it talks about how the Lord can restore what is broken and what is lost um, when we confess our sin to Him and when we come clean from our sin and um, turn from our sinful ways that God can bring restoration. So if something has gone horribly wrong in your marriage and maybe it's even your fault, I just want to encourage you to go to your husband with that truth. I know it's hard. Um, but to go to your husband, to have um, family and friends gather around you and pray for you, to pray for restoration in your marriage, um, and to really, really turn from that sin and um, seek restoration from that, because God can bring your marriage back from anything. I say that from personal experience, because, um, you know, financial is one of the biggest struggles in marriage, and God has restored our marriage um, from financial struggles that I was untruthful about. And the next thing I want to tell you is to be patient. If you have brought something like this to your husband and things haven't changed overnight, don't be surprised. In fact, I would be surprised if they did change overnight because it takes time um, to restore that trust in marriage. And another verse that I want to share with you, and this one's so important, is Psalm 37, 7. And what it says is, be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. And I just believe this is so important because a lot of times we get impatient and things don't get better immediately and we don't wait for the Lord to act. We say, you know, God, I messed up and my marriage is ruined and I just might as well get a divorce and hop out on it now. Um, and no, that's absolutely not the case. You know, we give Satan, he's kind of like an opportunist. So he sees us getting frustrated and impatient and he gets in there and he speaks things into our mind like, well, you tried this and, you know, God didn't restore your marriage, so you might as well move on. Well, that's not true. We have to be patient before the Lord and wait for him to act. If you're like me, your marriage trust didn't get violated overnight. You didn't um, do things overnight. It was over a period of time, and it's going to take a period of time for that marriage to heal. And be patient during that. Serve your spouse during that. Pray for him. Um, just do everything you can to serve him and to um, restore that trust in your marriage. And be patient with God and give him time um, to come in and bring restoration into your life. And I love all of y'all. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'm going to be praying for y'all and for anyone out there who might have violated the marriage trust in the same way I did or in a different way, um, that God will bring restoration and peace and wholeness to your marriage because it is possible. If God can raise a Christ Jesus from the dead, he can raise your marriage to new life. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and I love you. See you later.